All right, uh, chapter nine, day seven. Uh, the focus question is, is how do we find equivalent trig functions? That's one thing we're gonna look at today, finding equivalent trig functions. And how do we work backwards to find all possible angles? So um, it's gonna be about using this unit circle, using our reference angles, all that kind of stuff that we've been doing. So for example, the question might say, sine of 200 degrees is equivalent to a function of what positive acute angle? Um, so when you see a question like that, they're just asking you, this is also the same as the sign of what else? All right, so first of all, let's draw our picture and find the reference angle. Step one, let's find the reference angle. So here I'm gonna draw my picture, 200 degrees. So I'm down here in quadrant three. So a 200 degree angle, we'll have a 20 degree reference angle. Okay, so that's important. 200 degree angle, okay, here's 200. Since this is 180, has a 20 degree reference angle. All right, so I found the reference angle. Determine if the trig function is positive or negative in this quadrant. Well, in here, I know that the sine is the y value, and the y values here are negative. So if sine is negative in quadrant three. All right. So now I know sine has to be negative. Rewrite the trig function with the correct sign and the re acute reference angle. So in other words, I'm going to rewrite sine 200 as negative sine 20. And that is an equivalent function. Now my angle is positive and acute, less than 90. So what's my reference angle? Is sine positive or negative in there? So this negative sine is because sine is negative in quadrant three. <clears throat> this reference angle is that. And since I'm working with sine, I'm working with sine. If you were to type sine 200 on your calculator and hit enter, type negative sine 20 on your calculator, hit enter, you'll get the same answer. Okay? Let's try uh, tan 315, for example. So again, 315, let's write a reference angle. So 315, all right, so here's 315. 315 has what reference angle? Well, 315 has a 45 degree reference angle. So reference angle, 45. So now I, this is gonna be tan 45. Is it gonna be positive or negative? Well, in this quadrant, tangent is sine over cos or x over y. And since x is positive and y is negative, tangent is also negative. So that is an equivalent function. If you were to type tan 15, 315 on your calculator and you were to hit negative of tan 45, you'd see that they're the same. Okay, so first thing today was how do we find equivalent trig functions? Just did that. How do we work backwards to find all possible angles? So let's take a look at that. Sometimes they say for theta, be somewhere between zero and 360, find two possible angles if the sine has a certain value. All right. You might say, well, there's only one. There's actually two that could be this answer. So use second trig function to get the angle. So I'm gonna use second sine, and I got my angle now to be a negative 48 degrees. So, I'm going to draw a negative 48 degrees first thing. 48 negative. <clears throat> all right. Now, the question said, find all possible, find two possible angles. You might say, well, negative 48 is one of the answers. No because the directions say that the angle have to be positive between zero and 360. So, 
If the angle is negative, we have to first find the positive coterminal angle. So this can't just be one of my answers right now. So I have to find what's coterminal. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask myself, how far is it to go all the way around to here if this is negative 48? Well, 360 minus 48, okay, is 312. So 312 is one of my answers. So 312 is an answer. That's 312. Right, so well, how could you have another possible answer? Well, step three says find the other quadrant. Find the other quadrant that the trig function has the same sign, positive or negative, in. Okay, so if I'm working with sine, and sine is the y value, it has the same type of sine, positive or negative, in this case negative, over here in quadrant 3. So I'm going to draw another mirror image over here, 48 degree angle, because this distance should be identical. I, obviously I didn't draw it to scale. But if this is 48 and this is 48, then this and this should be exactly the same. Okay? So, I found the other quadrant. Now find the other angle coterminal to that second angle. So now I have to ask myself, how far is it to here? Well, that's going to be 180 plus 48. And 180 plus 48 is 228. So my other answer is 228. And now I have found two angles such that the sine of those angles is approximately 0.7424, but negative. So if you were to take sine of 312, you should get this. If you take sine of 228, you should also get this. And so that's working backwards from our answer to find two possible angles. The other day we hit it on our calculator, but we really didn't look at the fact that maybe there's another place in this whole circle that it could be a second answer. We'll try one more. Cosine theta is 0 0.707. Okay. Well, if you do second cos, of 0.707, you're going to get 45 degrees on your calculator. Okay, so step one, what do we got? Use second trig to find the angle. If the angle is negative, nope, not negative. All right, so I got to just draw. Here we go. 45 degrees. There, there's 45 degrees. So there's one of my answers, 45 degrees. That's an answer. It falls between 0 and 360. Now, cosine is positive. Not over here, not here, down here. So I have to draw a mirror, you know, an identical image, and this is also 45 degrees, because this distance will be the same whether it's 45 degrees here or 45 degrees here, all right? But I have to find that angle. So that's 360 take away 45 is what this big one is. 360 take away 45. is 315. So my other possible angle here is 315. So if you were to take the cosine of 45 on the calculator it should say 0 0.707. If you take the cosine of 315 on the calculator, it'll also say 0 0.707. So that's how you find two possible angles. Work backwards, find the other quadrant that it could possibly be in, and then find those angles between 0 and 360. That's it.